Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue where your computer will not shut down completely on Windows XP. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing, make sure you've saved and closed out of any open programs and applications. If you see anything down in your taskbar, make sure you open it and then just close out of it. So that's definitely one thing I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else as well, when you're going underneath Start and then Turn Off Computer, make sure you're selecting Turn Off and not Standby. So again, make sure you're selecting the Turn Off button. So again, make sure it's set to Turn Off. If for some reason that is not working, you may want to pull down the Power button on your computer. So whether it's a laptop or desktop, whatever your power button is you use to turn on your computer, hold it down for anywhere between 5 and 10 seconds and it, that will do a hard power off. I would not suggest doing that uh, very frequently, but just in certain situations where you have problems with you know unresponsive programs or Windows is just completely locked up, sometimes you have to do that. So that's something also I recommend taking a look at. And finally, you can also do Control-Alt-Delete on your keyboard, so tap the Control-Alt-Delete keys. See if there's any applications listed in here, just with select it and then end task, and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.